What's going on, folks? It's K Spade, the prospect. I'm back today with some Madden 16 exclusive gameplay for you guys. I had a rare opportunity to go down the EA Tip and Run and play this game before it came out. As you guys can see, I'm playing Draft Champions. What you guys don't know is my opponent in this gameplay is none other than the great Anto the Ball. Shout out to the homie. I will put a link in the description to his channel so you can go and check out his content as well. But you guys already know who Anto is, right? So let's get into it, man. You guys already know I am the guys in the Dolphins uniform, man. First drive is looking pretty good. And shout out to the homie Bobby Rainey Griffin GA. Stand up, man. Look at Bobby Rainey with a beast display on that entire drive. But right there to get in the end zone, that's that good stuff right there. That is the good stuff. So I took a risk. And, and I, I really love draft champions because you can't have too great of a team. You can have a pretty good team, but you're going to have some weaknesses somewhere. So I took a gamble, and I didn't draft a running back. I decided to stay with Bobby Rainey, who is, what, like a 71, 72? Because I knew the kid was going to go hard for your boy. However, I spared no expense on the defense. And you can already see, man, DRC gets the interception to put my offense back on the field. And we still out here trying to get it done, man. I got a legend great under center. I got Randall Cunningham under center. So I knew I wanted a leader. But I really felt like I could, I could survive with Bobby Rainey. And so far, my theory's been working. Third and seven, man. Had time in the pocket, but that's because everybody was covered. And I end up kind of giving up like a coverage sack. I get nothing there. Kick it off, man. Kick it back to Anto. He's looking pretty good right here. Nice run out of the pocket. And he's under two minutes before the first half ends. I know he won't points. He probably will take three, but if I know Anto, like I think I know him, this guy won't seven. And I'm telling my defense, this is where I need you guys to stand up, and we got to hold this guy to three. If anything. I mean, maybe nothing. But I want to at least hold him to three. We, we can't let him get seven here. Big time hit delivered right there. I don't know who that was, but that guy did a hell of a job of holding on to the football because I thought we ended his whole career right there. First and 10. Of course, Anto's using the clock. He's going to go no huddle a lot on this drive because he is trying to move the ball as much as he can and get out of bounds. Right here, he wanted to get out of bounds, but we got him down. I believe we got a knee down inbounds, and that clock continues to run. That's what I want. I want to kind of play the clock against him here. He still has all three timeouts, though. Here we go. He's dropping back, man. Tannehill has a little bit of time in the pocket before I'm getting back there. I rush him into dinking it down to the running back, so he still gets the yards, but we bring him down inside the middle of the field. That clock is tick, tick, ticking. Tannehill gets happy feet, and Von Miller goes back there with the former introduction. What's up, Ryan? I'm Von. How about laying down right here? Get Tannehill down. On the next play, Tanny's running, and I don't know who the hell Anto thought this guy was. You better slide, yo. He runs into the defense, coughs it up. We get out of the first half holding Anto to zero. That's big for us because if he scored right there, he gets it back, as you can see. He gets it back at the start of the third quarter. It might have been problems. Second and short right here. Tannehill rolling out. That pass was a little weird. He tried to throw on the run. We get the interception right here. This really puts his back on the wall. If we can score on this possession right here, because these quarters are so short. What are they, like four-minute quarters? Like, it's just going to be tough for him to get back in the game. And Bobby Rainey isn't giving up, man. I love this guy. This dude right here is the sleeper card, I'm telling you. Beautiful pass. Ah, maybe not a beautiful pass, but a beautiful catch right there. I don't even know who that was, man. And later in the drive, I missed my hole. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I had. if I would went inside right there, I would have got the first. But I go no huddle. It's fourth and one. I'm thinking about going with a pass, and I'm like, Spade, Spade, wait, bro. You are up 7-0. to zero. Let's just continue to put points on the board. I call a timeout. I do the smart thing and put another three points on the board. Still third quarter, so the game isn't blown out of proportion yet. It's still time that anything could happen. And Anto definitely is trying to get a score on this drive. First and 10 right here. The Tanny dropping back. Time in the pocket. And that's me, though. I play that safety. Kind of baited Anto into that. I believe this is the first time Anto and myself has played, so he don't know about my user skills. Now, I usually use it at safety, but sometimes my safety skills translate over to the middle linebacker, and it did right there, and he kind of got messed up. And right here, man, I show Tannehill how you do it. You scramble, and you safely get down on the ground, man. We not These quarterbacks aren't big enough for all that contact, man. And that was huge for us. The time is on our side, man. It's a matter of seconds left in the game. 
Tried to get another first down right here. I didn't get it. We're just going to go ahead and attack another three on and, and get up out of here with a close game. So even though you're going to look at the score and it's going to be 13-0, you guys watch the gameplay and you know just how close this game was. But, man, that's all I got for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Go through and give Anto hell for not wearing the Redskins uniforms. And I'm out the next time, y'all. Peace.